Hi, Facebook friends. It's cooking keto-ish with Karina. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So I had let you guys know I'm going to make my keto bacon cheeseburger soup. Um, this one is one of my favorites, um, especially on a day like today. It's a little bit rainy. Um, this is one of my favorite soups. So keto bacon cheeseburger soup. And then I'm also going to be making some fat bombs and they're chocolate peanut butter fat bomb. And um, I'll make that at the end. So let's get started because we're gonna get this soup cooking. Um, as you guys know, I like things that come together very quickly, very fast, things that will cook in less than a half an hour. Um, I have very busy family, I'm busy at work. Um, so when I come home, I usually stop at the store to pick up fresh ingredients and I bring that home and I get going and start my cooking right away. So I prepped some, a few things. Um, I did make about 12 slices of bacon or my daughter helped me make that. Um, again, cooking it in the oven. Hi, Michelle. Um, cooking it in the oven on my cooking stone, my cookie sheet. Um, so we made 12 pieces of bacon for the bacon cheeseburger soup. Um, I also ground some, or made some ground beef. Um, one pound organic ground beef in um, my skillet. So I have that on the side um, and we'll add that after. So I do have my pot. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of our grass-fed Kerrygold butter um, to the pan. We're going to get this simmering and then we're going to start putting together our fat bomb recipe stuff. We're going to put about a half or half a teaspoon, a little zhuzh of garlic powder um, and garlic salt in there. And then I'm also going to put some minced onion. I'm going to just probably about a tablespoon of that minced onion. I also have some organic thyme. I'm gonna put some of that in there. When we simmer this on the stove, it's gonna all come together and it smells absolutely amazing. Um, from the bacon, I did save my bacon grease. Some people will add a little bit of that bacon grease to the soup, really to depth, um, to get some more um, of that deep flavor of that bacon. So I'm gonna add just a little bit, just about a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon of that bacon grease to that. Um, the next ingredient we have, we have cumin. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that. Again, I really adjust everything to taste. Um, so once this starts cooking, if I feel like it needs a little bit more time in there, I'll put a little more time. Um, and then I like to kick it up a little bit with some cayenne. Um, I like to have a little bit of heat behind the soup. It tastes absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna get that simmering on my stove. Have my stove turned on. And bring you guys. So here we have my ground beef and my bacon. I'm gonna cut up a few more pieces of bacon to put that in there. Again, one pound of ground beef and one pound of bacon, give or take how much ever you would like. So I prepped that. So we're gonna just let that simmer for a little bit, get that butter, all those flavors coming together really good. And I'm gonna get together my fat bomb recipe. So what I bought was this little mini donut pan and I like to make my fat bombs in here because they just pop out really easy. Um, it makes a bunch of them. These are really good portion sizes. Um, I don't know if you can see how deep they are because you don't need a lot when you're having a fat bomb, but this will give us enough. Then I take the top of a cake pan and I just put that because this is silicone and when I put it in the freezer, this just keeps it level. So I put that in the freezer like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're gonna take first, so I'm gonna mix these together and we're gonna get these in the freezer quick. I'm gonna take four tablespoons of our grass-fed butter, putting that into a bowl. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of coconut oil and add that. Again, 
give or take, whatever you like. And then I am going to add two tablespoons of, actually four tablespoons of peanut butter or some kind of nut butter. I'm gonna use my organic coconut peanut butter because I absolutely love this. This is the creamy, the smooth one. I do have a crunchy one as well, but I'm gonna use the smooth. Um, I also, of course, love my Kirkland's almond butter. I use this a lot, which is absolutely amazing. But I'm gonna put about four tablespoons. I'm just, I, I don't measure, you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna put four big scoops of my peanut butter in there. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take one capful of my vanilla. <coughs> my goodness. One capful of my vanilla. Um, and then I'm gonna take about two, I gotta grab another spoon. About two tablespoons of cream cheese. Again, I got my big tub out. Got my cream cheese going. And I'm going to take about two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Can you guys see that? I can't see. So I got this one from Trader Joe's. You can do a tablespoon, a teaspoon, again, I'm just gonna measure a heaping tablespoon. Some people will add um, a, a tablespoon of swerve or powdered swerve. I don't think you need it. Um, again, with having the peanut butter, um, but again, anyone can, you really can make this your own. It's very easy to put together. You can put whatever flavors you want in it. If you want some um, crunched up nuts and put it in there. If you're not using the peanut butter, you can put some coconut flakes in there. I gotta look at my, my butter. Woo, smells great. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And I got my soup going. So next, what we're gonna add is I got this from Target. Um, it's an organic beef broth. I do like to make my own broths um, when I have time, but this is very quick and easy. So I'm going to add the whole box of beef broth. We're gonna let that simmer on the back there. I do have more broth. This is a cooking stock, um, a beef cooking stock that I add a little bit of to um, get more flavor as well. Again, I'm gonna keep tasting that. So we'll, we'll just keep adding to that. So the other thing that I'm going to add is tomato paste. So we're only gonna add a little bit of tomato paste to the recipe. Again, this is a whole soup recipe. There is four grams of sugar and four carbs in two tablespoons. So I'm gonna only add one tablespoon of, of the tomato paste, but it's really gonna thicken the soup and give it a really um, great flavor. To sub that out, if you don't want that, you can add ketchup. I do get a sugar-free ketchup. Um, you can eliminate the tomato altogether. Some will add mustard as well, being bacon cheeseburger soup. I'm gonna add just a squirt of that. Again, we're gonna keep layering that flavor with salt and pepper as well. So we're gonna get that cooking. Once that comes to a simmer, we're gonna add our bacon and our hamburger to that. And again, let it simmer for a little bit longer. Um, our, we're also going to add cauliflower rice to this recipe. So instead of potatoes for this soup, we have cauliflower rice in that recipe, making it a little more hearty. It's really great. So while that's simmering away, we're going to take our fat bombs out and I'm going to stir this up. 
Oh, smells so good. So these are gonna be very watery. But again, we're gonna put it in that mold and those are gonna harden and it is gonna be a nice creamy treat. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for just a few more seconds. We'll give it 15 more seconds. So for my mold, I'm going to spray it with my coconut oil just to make sure they pop out nice and easy. one more little scoop of peanut butter because I love that peanut butter flavor. Look at that. Yum. So I do have my nice bowl. Um, so I'm able to just pour right into my tin. Otherwise you can use, um, I like to use the melon baller and just scoop it up and put it in there. But I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. So I'm gonna just pour my fat bombs in each of these little molds. If they overflow, don't worry. Again, this is a donut mold. <laughs> um, you can also use a mini cupcake pan um, to put your, your molds in. This is definitely a little bit bigger and you would want liners um, in each of those, making sure that you're spraying those liners as well to make sure that those pop out. Um, I like to just have little bite size. So it definitely is overflowing and it looks very runny, but this is gonna freeze up really nice and they're gonna be really creamy. That one doesn't have enough in it. There we go. Awesome. So I'm gonna go put this in the freezer really quick and I'll be right back. Hold on. Setting that silicone um, pan on top of that cake topper or that cake pan topper really makes it stable so it's not jiggling all over and it's not super hard where it's a metal piece in the, in the freezer or stone as well. So that's a really great tip. So I'm gonna cut up some more bacon. I just have a few more pieces. And then I'm gonna move on to my cheese and talk to you about my cheese. So I have gotten just normal shredded cheese um, from the store, but as you all know, um, that's probably not very keto friendly. They do tend to have potato or um, corn starches to make the cheese not clump and stick together. Um, so I did get, and I do get, blocks of cheese that are more natural, and then I do shred those. One great tip is to put your cheese in the freezer and freeze that for half an hour before, uh, 15 minutes before, and then it's super easy to shred um, instead of being really sticky. So, hi Beth. Um, so I pre, I shredded a whole bunch of cheese. I'm gonna put about two cups, again, give or take, whatever your taste buds are, whatever you like. If you want to have um, more cheese, absolutely add some more cheese to that dish. So I cut up some more bacon, it absolutely is amazing. So we're gonna add that to our soup, as well as the rest of our bacon and our hamburger. I know you guys can kind of see me back here. And then we are also adding, just gonna bring this over here. Then we are also adding our cauliflower rice. Again, I like just things that I can add everything into the pot, stir it up, leave it for a little bit and walk away. Then next, we are adding our cheese. So I'm just dumping all of that in. I wanna show you, oh, it's coming together. Looks great. 
We're gonna stir that up. And you guys, because I pre-made the bacon and the hamburger, every all the flavors just need to come together and then it's pretty much ready. Um, the cheese is gonna melt. We're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream to that. You can add some cream cheese in there as well if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna grab my heavy cream. So, this is a deep pan, I can't really show you. So the cheese needs to come together, otherwise it's a nice soup. Once it simmers for a little bit, it'll thicken up a little bit. If you wanna have it a little thicker, you can put, um, when you're melting your butter and your, your spices together, you can put a little bit of coconut flour or almond flour to really pull that together more. Um, but I don't like it too thick. I like to have that broth. Hi, Tammy. Um, so we're gonna simmer that, let the cheese come together a little bit, and then we're gonna add, then we're gonna add our cream right at the end. So we're just gonna do a quarter to a half cup of cream in that whole mixture, and it comes together, and it is absolutely amazing. Um, one of the things that I like to top my soup with, um, instead of croutons, um, I get these whisks from Costco, they're Parmesan cheese whisks. Again, super, super easy. Um, super great just for a snack. If you put that in a bag, take that to work. This is one of my new obsessions. Uh, moon cheese, it is literally just cheese. I'll show you. Just a little piece of cheese. It's almost like a cheese puff. Um, super great, has one, one carb, um, for about 12 pieces. So absolutely yummy, great little snack to have or to crunch it up and put over the top of our soup. So I need to warm up with a cup of soup. My family is waiting for dinner as well. Um, this is coming to a boil. I'm gonna grab a bowl. Hold on. little bit of cream in there. I'm gonna let that simmer. But here is our soup without the cream in there because I scooped that up first. It is so good. And then again, crumble some of those Parmesan wisps on top or that moon cheese. It's absolutely amazing. Hi, Holly. Um, I also, if you want like a piece of bread with your soup, um, I did make some keto bagels um, this last weekend as well. And I'll fry some of those up, um, just lightly toasting those and have that with, with my soup as well. Just dunking that in there. So this is a really great late night um, dinner for me and my family. I hope you guys try it. I'll post the comments below. I'll post the recipe in the comments below. Um, so definitely try it. Drop some comments for every comment below, for every share of the video. You guys are gonna be entered into my drawing on Friday. Um, we're gonna be doing that drawing right away on Friday uh, after work. Um, so yeah, definitely bring me drop down below different recipes that you're wanting to see. I am testing out a coffee cake recipe. I'm also bringing to you guys a pumpkin cheesecake, which is absolutely amazing. Hope to make that this weekend um, and show you guys that. Um, tomorrow night, I'd like to show you guys some overnight oats that I really love. It's a great go-to. Um, that's a really good breakfast, um, as well as some more breakfast ideas with some um, egg cups. So I'll be bringing you guys a couple more recipes in one video tomorrow night. Um, so drop a comment below where you guys are tuning in from and hope you guys have a great night. See ya.